shake their hand and I want each and every one of you to give them a big thank you because uh, when they're out there for on the in deployment when they're out there on, on a cruise for 16 and nine hours you can see a way out from Marina Green that is an HH-65 Dolphin helicopter being so piloted today by Lieutenant point. David Middleton co-pilot yeah, Mark Stalwood yeah, wow. Flight mechanic is Sean Novak, Novak and our rescue swimmer today is Ian Jobs. Again, they are from Coast Guard what? What they Canadian Rescue Center, San Francisco. They're from the club here in San Francisco. Okay, our Dolphin is an HH-65 Dolphin helicopter. It's a Eurocopter. It's a twin-engine, single-main rotor helicopter. It's got medevac capabilities, search and rescue uh, situations. All right, it's a helicopter operated by the United States Coast Guard. Again, this one out of Coast Guard Station, San Francisco. It's a variant of the French built Eurocopter AS365 Dolphin. Its role, search and rescue, manufactured Aero Special. Yeah. First flown in 1980. Introduced to everybody in 1985. Over 102 of them were built. Unit cost $9 million a piece. Camera's ready, folks. One of the few times you'll ever see a B-2 bomber over San Francisco Bay. Notice the spirit. From Grumman America, the B-2 spirit, otherwise known as the Stellar. Okay. 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 B-2 bomber spirit. Get your camera's ready, folks. Perfect profile is pretty great shape. Stealth. It looks like a big bird. That's One of the most sophisticated aircraft wow. in the world today. The B-2 bomber. Spirit. Oh my god. Super Dave lines up with everybody. Bob's right here in San Francisco, California. Close to 300 miles an hour. Close to 300 miles an hour. Bob's got to the Just got away as he takes his airspeed, trains it for altitude, going vertical one more time in the amazing MMX2 aircraft. Oh, yeah. It's a control. It's just a smoke off. It's 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 a smoke off. It
Rotates in his own axis and starts back down, turning altitude for airspeed. Now, right now, all of us are talking about altitude. You know, United States Air Force tests are proven that when you officially fly the airplane, the airplane is you're out anywhere from 7 to 21 seconds. We're talking about speeds to predict for the Air Force 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 Air
team of specialists led by design director Jim Bellago of Fortin Squadron. Unique to the design of this year are 13 individual snowflakes, each rendering an artistic impression of the distinctive aspects of the Canadian North. The next maneuver will show the incredible roll weight of the CF-18. Launch and stack over four, level 540 roll. Look for the change in direction. Yeah.
weapons load. Ready your cameras as the Raptor banks in from the left and cycles his weapons bay doors. Folks, if you've ever wondered where those bombs and missiles hide, here is your answer. round out about 800 feet above the cold waters of San Francisco Bay. Watch as our outriggers, five and six, pitched out of the top of the formation. They'll pull up into the vertical, rolling over into the top as the Black Diamond continues with a beautiful whirlwind. right side up. He'll pull back one more time, straight up into the skies here in California. Four takes space at about 400 feet behind him. Wilbur's upside down over the top. He'll roll over that one half Cuban eight. Get established on the down line. His priority now is to miss the water and look to the right, because here comes our number two and three jets, that red and blue smoke. Helping Wilbur to pick him up, because we're going to get not one, but two. Simultaneously in here the other side. Passing through the smoke trailer, the J 
straight ahead of him. They'll roll out accelerate. They'll get exactly the spacing necessary to be able to turn back in. They get four chance margin right back at Shul Center here in San Francisco. As Boyce is coming on the 45, up on the sausages made in Northern California for over 50 years. There's our number five and six. They snuck into the vertical from behind, rolled in, chasing each other upside down, looking out all the Number one and four jet and the number five and six jet to see who can fly this maneuver tighter, more precisely. Randy was rock solid. He flew that into what we call a pretty high position. The jet washer. Right down on the deck. We're gonna give you a flat A. The boss is in the show center. He wraps it around. That's about a 6G turn. The airplane's capable of over eight times the force of gravity. As Wilbur exits from his vertical. But today we would like to extend this heart from the Patriots jet team to all of those race fans and crews in town as part of the America Cup celebration. We can't wait to see the boats run today. You notice how precisely Rover flew straight and level to put that arrow right through the heart. What are you trying to make up for with that really big lens? Now, much like everybody trying to merge on the 580 and going to go to work, Wilbur's going to put this cool ship down in the back end of the position. put back together. We'll come in for more of this great warship stuff. But there's our number five and six sneaking in over the top. I told you there's a little competition about who can fly the tightest in trail formation. And right now, Rich and Baker are showing the boss how it's done. Canadian Snowbird, Outrigger, and Team Leader. I saw a former Seagull. And ladies and gentlemen, you just saw the most difficult rejoin you can do. That is Baker in our Blue Angel as he expertly rejoined into the fifth trail position during that beautiful tribute roll to with this new smoke of the Patriots, an American backdrop like none of us. From the lakes of Minnesota, to the hills of Tennessee, to the vast plains of Texas, from sea to sea, Detroit down to Houston. Now whether it's tonight, tomorrow, evening, or next week, when you're on the way home, and you're thinking about what are we going to have for dinner, I sure encourage you to stop by your local grocery store and get some New York style sausages. Over 50 different products, some of the best quality deli style sausages you can get anywhere. a sight that you will see nowhere else but right here at San Francisco. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you like what you're seeing because this is your hometown jet team. And now we like to share something special with you here. Every couple years, our great sponsor, Prize.com, a big aviation enthusiast himself, brings something special to an air show. Today, when the Patriots come through on their last pass, I want you to look further behind them. You're going to see a 727. This old former airliner has been modified to do charter work for professional sport teams in the Bay Area. Hockey and football usually. That's it. Look at that sun glide. Beautifully shining off those old 39s. The Patriots look at go to both the blue sky the the jazz. Looks like he's setting up for a little bit of a parade banana pass there. Down low, everybody getting a good look on that 27. One of the old classic Boeing products. If it ain't Boeing, we ain't going.
Lieutenant Finley will engage the afterburners at our call. Get ready, we're gonna to go to the cockpit with Lou. California. During the 2012 air show season, Sean will have performed at more than 20 events all across North America. And in that time, this aircraft will have traveled more than 25,000 miles. We'll have a gun in your eyes.
utilizing each show site. The F-818s carry the necessary personnel and equipment required to support each Blue Angel performance. and support team of 47 personnel. Ladies and gentlemen, directly before you, the Blue Angel C-130.
catch and roll. Precise double took away. for the Blue Angel, Fleur de Lee. Let's listen in. Complete. The diamond will pass before you and exit the show line to the right. Mm -hmm. 